you're doing. I bet you're doing rather well. Let's find out. Um, ooh, there we go. You know what? Let's start with that. We have the Hanged Man. We have obstacles here. We have the King of Wands. I see somebody standing in their power, very motivated, very driven towards something here. But the Ace of Swords in reverse, I kind of see like, especially with the Hanged Man, maybe not having like conflict, right? Let's see. Because Ace of Swords can be kind of like a forceful energy and just the way I'm reading this now it just kind of feels like that the hanged man what are these obstacles the obstacle is temperance right temperance I read this in a couple ways um right now I'm seeing it kind of in regards to divine timing you know holding the sun and the moon temperance, temporal, you know, it's like kind of this divine timing energy. Because I read intuitively, I read it with the context of the cards around it, you know. Um, I don't know, I think the obstacle is time. Waiting, you don't like waiting. Um, Alright, so King of Wands, what are you motivated to? So you're really standing in your power here, kind of like Really fired up about something. What's that? Walking away from a situation. Leaving a situation behind. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. You're probably um, done with that. And done with whatever conflict that situation brought you. Um, probably not wanting to start another cycle there. Um, let's see. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I see you looking at different options here. What are you walking away from? What are you fired up about? Maybe you're fired up because somebody walked away from you. Right? Let's see. Yeah, the chariot in reverse. You're not the one that moved. They are. You're pissed that somebody else left. Okay. Got it. Now you're looking at different options. The star in reverse could be Aquarius energy. Um. Also, it, there, that situation could just be, like, hopeless, right? With Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it was like there was no hope there. There was nothing growing. There was no light in the darkness there. It was just a dead end anyway. So why are you mad that they would leave? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, that just doesn't make sense. It's like, it literally wasn't growing. You grow better when they walk away, when you end these cycles. Yeah, what I thought, lovers in reverse, breakup energy, there's a lot of breakups happening, fuck, death and rebirth, right, the situation coming to an end here, because it just wasn't growing, an offer was rejected, knight of wands in reverse, Somebody goes around, starts fucking talking shit on the other, <laughs> you know, um, very nice, very mature, <laughs> um, yeah, somebody's out here, like, fucking running a smear campaign, 
I don't see how that's useful, but okay. It's like very, very childish energy. If somebody is running a smear campaign on you, just let them be children, right? People can see how childish that is. Um, don't gossip. <laughs> and people won't look at you like a gossip. <laughs> Yeah, with the devil in reverse, I see you going through kind of an ego death in this situation, you know, and I feel like you kind of get humbled. Something brings you back down to earth, and then you make union with somebody else, right? Um, we have two of cups. It's like starting a new journey with a whole new energy, right? Two is very fresh, new energy. So it's like, I feel like this kind of steps in, and it kind of helps humble you. You kind of chill the fuck out. You're like, oh, yeah. Um, this wasn't the only person on earth, right, that I could have been with. Um, so, I kind of like that. Alright, so the devil in reverse. This ego death, this shadow work, that kind of brings you full circle here. Yeah, seven of cups, it's like when you see that you have options here, that you're not, like, without them. Shit just kind of works out, right? Two of cups, making union. Let's see, let's talk about it. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, you feel very fortunate, like fortune has changed. So you just kind of switch your direction. You, like, stop giving a fuck about that person that walked away from you. And you just kind of start focusing on this union. Yeah, Four of Cups. I see you. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Four of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so the person who walked away from you, the person who had cut you off, um, I see that they had rejected your offer here, right? You probably offered to take them back or whatever, and they were just like, no. Um, Two of Wands in reverse, they had already made up their mind, you know, they wanted to go travel the world, be in the world, be part of the world. Um, I just feel like they didn't want to stay settled, you know. So, Seven of Swords, I feel like kind of the shady energy of like somebody Somebody being real sneaky. Yeah, Page of Swords. Hating. And. Why? Like, it looks like you move on. You're fine. Who's hating? That's what I want to know. Who's doing the hating? saying that you're just still really pissed with the page of pentacles in reverse that you had to let go of something right and with the tower hitting it's like shit just falls apart when you stay hung up on this energy and it's like i don't know how you haven't caught on to that yet it's like the more you focus on this energy the shittier the shittier your life gets right <clears throat> judgment, divine intervention, the divine is like, you need to drop this shit, that's what I'm saying, with the tower, the death card, all this, it's like, I'll even bring good fortune, you could even have your pick of the litter in dating, like, it's almost like, you just need to drop this fucking energy, <laughs> right, um, like obsessive kind of you know page of wands i see news coming in or a message 
like that. The Empress in reverse. I see another energy coming in. Um, not your baby mama, but somebody's baby mama, right? Uh, but the Ten of Swords in reverse. I see you not wanting to shut this energy down. I see you being really open to that. I don't know. That's at least what I see. I could be wrong about that baby mama. It could be baby daddy energy but it just heavy feels like that um yeah page of cups you like them there's a mutual interest you guys elevate each other right see this is good it's like you get your step in a new direction right you don't even need to focus on the past. And I think that you're seeing that you get blessed the more that you don't focus on the past. Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. It's like you're done feeling left out in the cold. <laughs> Four of wands. You start enjoying life again, celebrating. Um, eight of pentacles in reverse. It's hard for you to focus at work, you know. Two of pentacles. Having a decision to make in regards to moving forward, right? Like, really choosing to enjoy life or to stay stuck in misery. Like, that's really the choice here. Yeah, dude. Seven of Wands just came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, emotionally you're dropping it. You're walking away. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you're letting that shit go. Uh, Seven of Wands, choosing a new path, having a new direction highlighted for you. The High Priestess, feeling divinely guided on your path and your journey. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse, you're really struggling to focus at work, though. It's like, I feel like your mind is kind of enveloped by this. Three of Cups, I see you, like, maybe starting this as a friendship and kind of growing from there, not, like, rushing shit too much. Um, or I don't know, or maybe you just feel like they're your friend as well as that, you know? Um... Queen of Wands, getting the acknowledgement and appreciation that you deserve, you know, and within this, like, love union especially, like, feeling, like, acknowledgement and appreciation that you just didn't feel in your previous connection, right? This really helps you release, like, and, and kind of, like, get to a level of just acceptance, you know, and just kind of letting shit be what it be like, um... But yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Um, namaste. I love you all. I'll catch you on the next one.